Hi everyone, I am going to do the sweater weather tag um, from Kelly McKelly. It was a, I think about a, maybe a month ago or a few months ago. Anyway, there were two sets of questions and I've chosen the second set of questions to do. I've got them written down and the difference is it is New Year's Eve so I am going to, I've sort of made a New Year's resolution for myself and that is to get fitter during the year. Uh, I've got a bike here, on a, like an indoor bike and I'm going to start off with riding that. My husband bought this for, for me a while ago but I couldn't use it because I was, um, well, I've got arthritis and it was really bad at the time so I couldn't even sit on this thing let alone lean on it and try to try to actually ride it but I have been able to do it for a while but haven't so I'm going to take advantage of it being in the house I've got the air conditioning so you know I've got no excuse so I'm going to start off with around about 10 minutes a day and do it for three I'm going to try for three times a week 10 minutes a day um, and I'm going to ride the bike while I do the tag and then the other days of the week I'm going to try to find other things to do like hauls or more tags or you know just things so we'll see how we go um, I've got to start this thing That's so easy. Okay, so I'm setting it for 10 minutes and start riding. Hmm, I'm gonna get used to this. I think this thing's got a monitor type thing on it too. Oh, it has. You gotta put your hands on the handlebars and apparently it gives your heartbeat, I think. Your pulse. If that's right it says my pulse is 60 but I don't really know okay on with the tag so first question is favorite candle scent and it would have to be one called monkey farts I know that sounds weird it sounded weird to me when I first heard it but that's what it's called monkey farts and I typed it into Google to find out what sort of like how they described that sort of scent and it's sort of a banana tropical tropical banana sort of scent so once I realized that I understood why they called it monkey farts but it's a great scent and I can burn that for hours and it not affect me I bought a candle a little while ago which was lavender and lime from dusk and started to burn it and I loved the smell of it but started to burn it and I ended up with a headache and it was only going for like half an hour while I was doing a video so this candle that my favorite candle the monkey farts monkey farts that sounds so funny is a, something that I can burn for hours and I think I've had it going oh, about seven times now and each time for a few hours and there's like this much gone so I don't know how how long candles are supposed to go for but this one seems to be lasting forever it's only a one wick and it is made of soy which is way better than what is it paraffin waxes or something I'm not sure haven't looked into it but it's a soy candle and it's from cherries and spice and if you're interested in that candle I'll leave a link down below okay number two coffee tea or hot chocolate so I got to choose one I drink all three but if I had to have just one it would be tea because tea is sort of refreshing and everything and if I drink too much coffee I feel like I'm being poisoned and I can only drink so much chocolate or cocoa I don't have hot chocolate I have cocoa because cocoa's got no sugar in it 
so tea would be my answer to that because I love all sorts of teas and love the fruity teas as well number three what's the best fall memory you have that's easy <laughs> that is when my son was born he was born on the 3rd of March so that is the yeah the best fall memory that I have it's why I love fall so much and it brings back heaps and heaps of memories and we lived in New South Wales so we really get a, a proper autumn there uh, we don't get it in Queensland really not that much next question is four which makeup trend do you prefer dark lips or winged eyeliner it would have to be winged eyeliner I love that look and dark lips are not really something I wear a lot usually only wear it for for a video um, I prefer a really light coloured lip so winged eyeliner the next one five what do you want to be for Halloween well Halloween's already gone and I'd wanted this for ages so I decided to do it and some of you may have already seen the tutorial and it's a, a, a what is it it's a night elf it's a character from from WoW from World of Warcraft so any sort of character that I have on the game I would like to be and the one that I chose for this year was a night elf um, and her name is Zanidra and that's a bit weird well not for me but maybe for you listening to it okay number six favorite Thanksgiving food would have to be turkey we don't have Thanksgiving here but I think most of us sort of know what happens in the American Thanksgiving and what sort of food like the main food is turkey so and then sort of like our main Christmas is a turkey and then everything's spanning out from that so turkey <sighs> okay number seven hat or scarf it would have to be a scarf although I love hats it would have to be a scarf because with a scarf I um I can drape it over my shoulders and can put it lots of different ways if I get cold I can lift it up over my head if I get too warm I can drape it over the shoulders and onto the back and it lets cool air sort of come around my neck um, you know in a pinch if you're cold somewhere and you have a scarf you can stick it around your feet if your feet are cold over your lap a scarf is just really versatile so it'd have to be a scarf eight most worn sweater would be this and I've had it for two years now and it's got it's got a hood on it and I'm not wearing it now because we're in summer and I'm in air conditioning and it's only just started and I'm hot so that's that is it that's what it looks like I don't know whether you can see it very good but it's got a great hood on it it's nice and big it's got that sort of detail on the hood and it's got a really nice little the top of the zipper hold on let me show you it's got a lions and I think oh it's got these um, got these pockets on the side of them zip pockets there's the zip but inside it it has written on the inside you can see it it's got the Alliance and that's the side I fight on in World of Warcraft so both pockets are like that and then it's just got the Alliance Lion on the front there and the cool thing about the sleeves here 
if I ever, they're long sleeves, like longer than my arms. So, so like that, but this is a cool thing. It's got a little thumb hole in it. Um, which I mean, I always have these dangling down, but I've only ever seen this thumb hole once and um, my grandson's mum pointed it out to me on a jacket that I bought him. So I think that that is super cool that I have one. So that's really nice and warm and too hot for me to even hold it. Okay, that is my sweater. Favourite fall nail polish. Oh, I forgot to bring it with me. It's a Sally Hansen. It's at Manny, Manu, I don't know. It's called Oxblood and it's just a really rich, deep blood red colour and it's really nice. Or orange, but I don't have an orange. I do, but I don't like it. I have to get that, um, that nail polish from, from the Hunger Games. I have to look for that. Anyway, next. 10, football games or jumping in leaf piles. I assume that means would you rather play a football game or jump in leaf piles? And I would rather jump in leaf piles than play a football game. If I was watching it, I'd rather sit and watch a football game than jump in a leaf pile. So. For number 10, I would choose jumping leaf pile. <sighs> I've been going for over 10 minutes. Okay, skinny jeans or leggings? Leggings, I love leggings. And the last time I wore a pair of jeans, and they would be called skinny jeans because they were like those stretch jeans in those days, back in 86. I arrived on a bus here in Queensland in my jeans and a t-shirt or a singlet top and as soon as I got to my mum's place I took my jeans off and I never put them back on again so it took me a long time to get acclimatized to Queensland weather so leggings they're so comfy number 12 combat boots or Uggs that would be Uggs and I'm actually wearing Uggs now my, what do you call, my foot doctor, podiatrist, and my physio told me to chuck my Uggs out. So I did chuck those ones out, but I bought new ones. These are, technically these are slippers. That's what I bought them as, even though they say Uggs on it. And they're purple. So Uggs. <sighs> Number 13, which is the last question, What's your number one favourite thing about fall? It would have to be the trees and the leaves and all the colours that the leaves make and how they sit on the ground. I love trees that are just bare, bare sticks and all the ground covered in all the different golden, yellow, red, orange colours of leaves. My favourite tree would have to be a Japanese maple or an amber tree, either one, but Japanese maple. Yeah, so that is the end of my sweater weather tag. And I am at the end of my day of exercise. So I've done 12 minutes, nearly 12 and a half. Oh, my pulse rate says that it's 88, 89, 90, <laughs> 91, oh, it keeps going up. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Anyway, if I slow down, it should go down. So, yeah, it's just in the 96. 98, let's not let it get to 100, okay, and I'm finished.
yeah, it's under 90 now. Now it's 87. Oh, now it's 88. Oh, that's because I took the other hand off. Oh, didn't have two contacts. Okay, thanks for watching everybody and I will see you on this bike in another few days. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.